Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to access a UCU virtual classroom session as a student or a participant. On my screen, you can see I have got the login or entering page for a UCU virtual classroom session. Now, the way I got to this page was by an external link. So the person setting up the UCU meeting would have to generate that external link um, and then provide that and click, and I would click on it to get to this page. If you're accessing UCU via D2L, this page is gonna be just a little bit different. You'll get to it by going to the appropriate link within the D2L system. But either way, there's going to be a button that says enter meeting room. One thing I want to point out on this page before you get excited and click the enter meeting room button is you will kind of want to look at these audio and video session management things. It just gives you a little bit of information as a participant um, on how to participate, how to access the audio and video. It tells you to use a laptop or desktop computer. That's really important. Um, phones and iPads and tablets don't work with UCU. It also strongly recommends Chrome and Firefox. So if you're you're using Safari or Explorer as your default browsers, you're probably going to have trouble accessing the system. So definitely take a look at the things that are here on this lobby page. And then when you're ready, go ahead and click on enter the meeting room. Now, because I'm getting to this from the external link, I'm not going straight from D2L. The system doesn't know who I am. So I do need to go ahead and put my name in. If you're accessing from D2L, you won't need to do this step. So for now, we'll just put sample participant and then we'll enter the meeting room. Now, regardless of if you decide to enter the meeting room via D2L or via the external link, from here on out, this experience is going to be pretty much the same. You're going to get this little screen that says, how would you like to join the audio? Now, if you don't have a microphone hooked up, you would click listen only. If you do have a microphone or a webcam and you know you're going to want to talk or participate in that way in the classroom session, then you'll want to click the audio button. And this is where the logging in process gets a little bit complicated because what you see on the screen is going to depend on what browser you're using, what webcam you have, what system you have. Right now, what you're seeing on my screen is I'm using Firefox. So this is what it looks like when you try to get in with Firefox. And what happens here is that there's a little pop-up from the browser that says, would you like to share your microphone? And if so, which one? And so I'm going to select, I've got a headset hooked up. So I'm going to go ahead and say, use my headset. And then that's the one I want to share. Now, like I said, if you're using Chrome or a different system, there might be a slightly different process you have to do. This is probably the trickiest part of getting into UCU is getting your microphone and your webcam and all of that to sort of play nice. So look for that pop-up, look for that thing. Your browser's going to want to get your permission to access that microphone. So for now, I've picked the microphone. I'm going to hit share selected device. You can see here on the audio stream volume that it's actually hearing my microphone. So that's great. And then I'm going to play the sound. And even though it says no speaker source found, I can actually hear that. So I know that it's working. So then I can say enter session. And then it's going to ask me again, do you want to share this device? Again, you're probably just going to have to jump through some hoops here. So I'm going to go ahead and click share selected device again. All right. You now, are currently the only person in this conference. if you heard that, that's the system telling me I'm the only person participating in there. Now we do have a presenter. I'm logged in in a couple different browsers just to show you what that looks like. Let me pull something onto the screen. So what you're seeing here is the presenter view. And in that presenter view, you can see that that sample participant is attending the meeting. So that did tell us that we got logged in appropriately. Okay, so now I'm here. I'm a participant. Um, there's not a lot that I can do. I'm in here just as somebody who's watching the webinar, but I can mute my audio if I don't want the speaker to hear me or if I know there's going to be ambient noise. If you're a participant in a UCU classroom, I would probably recommend muting more than unmuting because that will um, just keep the feedback and the audio issues from happening. You also have the ability to share your webcam. So if I click on that, again, there's going to be some sort of pop-up or some sort of process where you have to say, yep, it is okay that this system uses my webcam. So for now, we're going to go ahead and skip that. But that would be how you would share that webcam. The other thing you might be asked to do is you might be asked to chat and use some text chatting. And so there's this little icon here in the upper left. And this brings up a little public chat area. And so as a participant, you can chat here in the box. So I'm just going to put hi, everyone. And then 
with the, that name that I typed in, that's the name that's going to be attached. That's really all there is to participating in a UCU webinar. Now, it's possible that the instructor or the person running the webinar or the session might give you presenter status, and then you'd have a few more um, things that you can do. But really, it's mostly just going to be watching and listening and then chatting and webcamming and typing as needed. Couple other things to point out. This little box up here in the left hand corner is going to tell you how good your internet connection is. So you want that to look green. If it doesn't look green, it means you've probably got some slower internet and you might have some issues. This is a place where you can go for help. The very first time you go into a session, you're probably going to see these little help balloons popped up. That kind of shows you um, where, where you can get to things and how you can change settings. To get those to go away, you just click anywhere on the screen. And then this little three dot menu is where you would go, first of all, to make it full screen. If you didn't already have it full screen, um, to open your settings area. So let's pull that up. There's not a whole lot that is going to be applicable here. We'll go ahead and cancel that. But if you do need closed captions or something like that, this is where you'd find it. Or if you need to change your font size, that's where you'd show that. And then the other thing here is when you're all done with the session, you're going to go ahead and go here and say log out. So that's really all there is. Um, again, the important things to know is that you will have to do it on a computer or a laptop. You can't use a mobile device and you'll want to use Chrome or Firefox to access the UCU virtual classroom.